Morning folks, uh, right, I got this bag of uh, Numidian Cavalry at uh, Father Christmas time last year, um, this last Christmas, um, not done anything with it yet, but now I'm thinking I can possibly use this for Irish Light Cavalry for my Border War games um, and fighting with and against the Irish, so um, I'll get this pack opened and then uh, see what I can do. All right, that's what we get on a sprue. What have we got? Um, three riders, three horses. Um, riders are just wearing a simple tunic. I'll just turn that around, you can see. Um, obviously the heads are very uh, Numidian. Uh, Numidian, yeah, is it Numidian? What am I looking at? Yeah, Numidian. <laughs> um, so I'll need to use um, a more Irish looking head. Other than that, I think these are going to be great as Irish like cavalry. The Irish um, right up to the 17th century, so 1600, uh, what's that, James the First, um, was still riding horses, um, no saddle, no stirrups, just uh, simple reins or rope, and often um, bare feet. Um, simple tunic um, or like a cloak, uh, sorry cloak, a uh, short kilt and a t-shirt top or a one piece um, and a large cloak. Um, got loads of cloaks so I'm gonna have a go at making some Irish light cavalry out of, uh, out of Numidians. Should work um, so uh, I'll get cracking. Okay first figures off the sprue and um, what I have noticed is that the arm has a shield strap on it so I'm going to have to trim up that because the Irish like cavalry didn't use a shield so um, yeah that's all I'm gonna to have to do trimming wise so I'm now gonna get that trimmed up before I glue it all together there's the uh, first figure clipped and de-sprued now to me he will do as Irish Let's see see there I put the uh, a Germanic head on, which is just a shaggy looking head. Um, other than that, he is a Numidian. I suppose it's going to be the way I paint him, uh, which will be a pale skinned guy, won't it? Obviously, being Irish. Um, yeah, but according to records, this is some of what the Irish looked like in the uh, late 1500s. So I suppose I better get some more made and perhaps um, put a lick of paint on. So back soon and that's the first sprue de-sprued glued together and uh, hopefully made to look Irish I'll just go around a bit so we've got the Numidian horse Numidian torso and the weapons arm uh, there was one cloak which I've used but I've added some cloaks from the bits box I usually got loads of cloaks in stock and I've added um, all the uh, Germanic heads again got tons of those in stock from all the Germans I've had over the uh, years So yeah, I think they look fairly impressive as Irish. I think they're gonna do as Irish like a horse um, Very light light horse <laughs> Right, I'll get a couple uh, Started painting. I think it's two to a base uh, It's a 60 mil by 40 mil um, but the size of the horses I may have to do a 50 mil deep base but um, yeah, I'll make a start on uh, on some painting. So back soon. Right, that's the grey primer on them, on oh, these two figures. There's another one, but I only need two for a base. And I uh, I have uh, added extra length because 40 mil wasn't uh, wasn't long enough, especially if I move it with that uh, running horse with the outstretched legs so I've gone for 50 mil depth which which is allowed under our rules we don't like it but uh, with these modern figures that get bigger and bigger um, we need to add a bit of uh, depth right um, grey undercoat so it's time to uh, throw some paint on go for my usual brown wash I think on the horses anyway uh, marron brown or, or sepia made of a pie ball scoop ball something I'll throw some paint on and then come back to you that's the um, two ponies completed. Um, yeah, yeah, very simple. Nothing much to them, is there? Um, I did the pie ball 
in um, a strong tone wash and then um, Iraqi sand off white and white and the one at the front is just in marron brown obviously I've done the nose blade and various um, socks the rope is khaki sand just turn him around just turn that one around obviously not been varnished yet got to do the varnishing um, I'm now going to start on the riders so um, I'll get cracking and there we have the first two Irish light cavalry just about finished as you can see impaled on stakes at the moment and I've added some impaling devices on top to the horses uh, to locate the um, riders <coughs> I found with these riders without saddles um, on biggers that uh, even with super glue they often uh, come off which tends to rip the paint off and then it's a pain trying to match up with the paint so just added some spikes for them to sit off to sit on it'd be painful for a while but uh, I'm sure they'll get used to it okay so everything's finished just going a bit closer and see those yeah Horses finished, obviously, riders finished, very shiny. So, I'm now going to add the matte varnish and then I'll get them all based up and come back for a uh, final roundup. So, back soon. There we have it, figures finished, um, all completed, uh, matte varnished, um, and I'm very pleased with these. As I say, these were Numidian like cavalry converted to Irish like cavalry. Yeah, I think they work well, so um, uh, there's uh, 12 in the pack, these two, so I've got 10 more to get on with. Um, I think I'm going to make a start on the other 10. Yeah, no problems. Um, obviously having uh, a stash of capes in my uh, spares helps. Uh, that means I can give every figure a cape, which I think would be needed in the uh, climate of Ireland. Um, yeah, very cold there, very cold. And I'm assuming during the 16th, 17th century, it was also cold. I don't remember or recall there being any uh, global warming in Ireland in the, in those centuries. So, uh, yeah, I think cloaks going to be needed just wearing these um, short tunics or trues that they wear, uh, barefooted and often bare-chested. I'm very pleased with uh, my piebald horse. I checked up on Tinternet, and it is a piebald. Uh, which could be a brown and white or a black and white um, well that's what Google calls a piebald yeah came up very uh, very well I think and so um, I'm gonna have to do some more of these okay so that's enough waffling uh, time to get on with uh, building more figures and painting more figures so uh, thanks for checking in and uh, bye for now <laughs>